1997 Nissan Sentra, uh, sticky clutch, rough clutch engagement. Uh, this is gonna be a clutch cable job. It uh, it's not smooth. It's kind of sticking, and the pedal has some flop to it. So we're gonna fix that. So here's our three pedals here, and as you can see, this clutch has a lot of flop. Now it's probably out of adjustment, but also the reason is is that inside sheath for the cable is probably bad, causing this floppy pedal. Start off just like any job, disconnecting the batteries so we don't arc anything while we're moving around metal parts. Especially in older cars, I feel like you gotta be careful because they're not as protected as a lot of the circuits we have now. Just like that, nicely on negative. Push down here a little bit. Once you get that off, you should just be able to reach in here and grab this piece, which hooks on to there. Once we do that, we should be able to grab our clutch cable and pull it out, just like that. So similar to what was in the engine bay with that kind of hook and loop style connection, um, with the clutch all the way out, there's going to be a little slot at the top where you can kind of get two fingers in there and you're going to want to grab the um, the receiving end and you're going to want to pull it off and away from the hook that is the clutch pedal. So with the clutch pedal all the way out, you should be able to squeeze two fingers in there and pull that clutch in and away from the hook and that will release it. So I'm just going to try to give you guys a good little visual here to show you what you're doing because this is probably going to be the hardest part of the job, honestly. But there's that little hook at the end of the clutch cable and that actually is going to go over the top of the clutch cable where it's like a J-style hook and it's going to be pivoting on that clutch okay, cable. So I'll show you okay, here in this little it. demo. Uh, now what you're doing, idea of what you're trying to reach for because you can't really see it. When you're pulling it, this from the inside it. is you want to make sure this cable is pulled this way as much as possible. So that means on the side that the transmission is on, you want this pushed all the way in to disconnect it. Now, when you're in the cab of the vehicle, you're going to want to get in here and you're going to want the clutch all the way out. And once you get the clutch out, you can kind of get your fingers in here about the side and you want to pull it in and up because what it's riding on is a little hook that goes to the clutch pedal and this goes over that hook and then it pivots on this little, this little wheel here which is another item that's pretty worn out. So we're going to throw that new one in and see how it goes. All right, guys. So once you do that, you're going to want to go back into the engine bay and you're going to want to grab the clutch cable where it goes into the cab of the vehicle. And all you're going to do is pull on it and you're going to see that it's just pressed in there with like a little rubber grommet. Um, and once you give it a good enough amount of force, it should just pop out pretty easily. And as you can see, I'm just pulling with some force here, and it pops out just like it's supposed to. So I'll work this thing out. And that, this end with this rubber bushing is going to be the side that is going into the cab of the vehicle. So after you do that, you just want to put your cables end to end, and make sure one side's either extended or fully retracted, whatever you prefer, it doesn't matter. And you just want to make sure they're the same exact length and they have the same head on them, which on this style, he uses like this four prong uh, cross style. Whereas there's a couple other variations like this one, which uses like a circular bone. And we don't want that one. We want this one because obviously they match. We will up and in there back into that hole. And then there's actually a little cord cable retainer there that it pops into. Now guys, it may be beneficial just to add a little bit of lubricant to this uh, rubber grommet that goes inside the cap. Oh, there we go. Let's see. This part can be kind of difficult, but once you get in there, just push real hard. It'll naturally seat there. And then clip your cable in. Make sure your sheath moves about halfway down. And clip it into place. It's a little hard to see. You get a better picture, but that is your cable clip right there and you want to make sure that sheath is covering it to protect it.
So you get your cable remounted inside. This is just gonna be reverse order of operations. You might need two people because this little rubber bungee looking thing here, that actually puts a little bit of tension on the cable and can make it a little difficult putting in. But have the cable back in the little shroud it goes in. So when remounting your cable on the inside of the cab on the clutch pedal side, you may want someone on the outside in the engine bay pushing that cable all the way in because the new protectant grommet actually acts as a spring and it's going to want to pull that cable away from you. So once you get everything installed in the reverse order of operations, you're going to need to adjust your clutch with that black little star wheel that you use to remove it. Now you may want someone inside the cab pulling the clutch all the way out with no pressure on it, and then you're going to use that star wheel to adjust it to where it just barely puts pressure on the clutch lever in the engine bay. Now you want to make sure you don't over tighten anything because you don't want to put extra pressure on your throwout bearing or on your clutch which could cause premature wear. If you guys have any questions or comments uh, please drop them down below. I'll be happy to respond and uh, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.